Hello everyone, this is Dance Crochet and today's video is a special one, simply because I want to share with you my research on yarn and crochet. Let me also mention that my research is not much because there is not a lot of information out there, but I believe I have put this video in the most informative way possible, so I really hope you enjoy this video. The word yarn originally comes from the old English word ging, old German word garn yarn and old Greek word chordes. Yarn is a long continuous length of fiber which is suitable for use in the production of textiles, crocheting, knitting, weaving and many more. As you already know the most common plant fiber is cotton which is spun into fine yarn for mechanical weaving or knitting into cloth. The most commonly used animal fiber is wool harvest from sheep. So who produces the largest amount of wool in the world? Well approximately 1.3 million tons per year is being produced globally, which 60% goes into apparel. Australia is the leading country that produces wool which is mostly from merino sheep. Next in line as the second largest country to produce wool is New Zealand and third country is China. Also another interesting fact is organic wool which has become more popular these days. This wool is very limited and most of it comes from New Zealand and Australia. Sodi or recyclable wool is made by cutting or tearing a part of existing wool fabric and respinning the resulting fibers. As this process makes the wool fiber shorter, the remanufactured fabric is inferior to the original. What happens next is that the recyclable wool may be mixed with raw wool, wool oil or another fiber such as cotton to increase the average fiber length. There is three types of yarn being produced. Rug is the sturdy wool fiber made into yarn used in many rugged applications such as gloves, socks and other things. Worst is a strong long stable combed wool yarn with a hard surface. And woolen is a soft, short, stable, carded wool yarn typically used for knitting. Crochet or cosé comes from the French word that means hook. There are many theories of where crochet probably began. Some say crochet was involved for traditional practices in Iran, South America or China. Even though there is no evidence of crochet being performed before it became popular in Europe during the 19th century. The only available and written evidence that exists and has been seen by publications from magazines. As you can see the year and the name of the magazines including the country. Fashion in crochet changed with the end of the Victorian era in the 1890s. Crochet laces was the new Edwardian era, peaking between the 1910 and the 1920, which became even more elaborate in texture and complicated stitching. After the strong Victorian colors disappeared, through new publication came to life for written or pale threads, which were often crocheted of brightly colored silk and elaborate beading. After the Second World War, from the 40s into the early 60s, there was an interest in home crafts particularly in the United States with many new imaginative crochet designs. The craft remained primarily as a homemaker's art until the late 1960s and early 1970s, when the new generation picked up on crochet and then popularized and created the granny squares. Crochet today has experienced a revival on the catwalk, including that crochet has been utilized by many designers in the world, but also on the popular show Project Runway. Additionally, websites such as Ravery have made it easier for individual hobbyists to sell and distribute their patterns on projects across the internet. As I mentioned before from the start of the video, there isn't enough information that could specify the origin of crochet. I hope you enjoyed this special video I made for you. If you like the video, subscribe, like me on Facebook and follow me at Pinterest. Thank you for watching Dance Crochet and be free to ask any questions at the comment section below and share your creation on Dance Crochet Facebook page.